This is a comprehensive Swagtron EB8 folding electric e-bike review. Shot and edited entirely on iPhone 8 and iMovie. By comprehensive, I mean I'm going to talk about getting the bike, about moving with the bike, about riding the bike, and about my experience with the bike over the last two months. Now you can see the bike folded here, and it's still quite large. It takes up the entire back seat of my 2004 Ford Focus. It's not a huge car, but it is too big to fit in the trunk. So know that going in. So here you can see the bike out on the trails. And on a trail, it is so much fun. I mean, it's just incredible. Like, I've never been mountain biking before. This is actually video of the second time I ever rode on this trail. I was just riding it through the woods because I was like, oh, this is an awesome bike. Let me ride it through the woods. And then I found this trail. And, man, it is so much fun. This bike takes the learning curve out of mountain biking. Like, seriously. I mean, it doesn't take the learning curve out of jumps. But it does take the curve out of mountain biking. Hills are nothing. Climbing is nothing. Like only on a black diamond are you challenged with a climb. And I checked it out in the Fountainhead region of Park on a black diamond. And yeah, you gotta pedal up those hills. Now speaking about the bike as it comes. It comes with a seat that is painful to sit on after about 10 minutes. The hand grips are so hard they're super uncomfortable and the pedals are weak um, they broke after about the 10th time I went riding this thing um, and it was on like a jump and that's not really good at all that's one of the last places you want your pedals to break so after about 50 rides uh, the bike broke uh, I'm not sure what happened I sent it back to the manufacturer and uh, it's going to be about a week or two before I see it back, so I'll let you know what happens with that. As far as upgrades go, I think it would be pretty easy to upgrade the motor. Just get like a different Bafang higher voltage. I'm going to put that baby on there. I'm going to wait until my uh, warranty is up before I do that, but I'm totally going to do that. It's a little slow for me. I built an e-bike before. Um, it was a 1,000 watt e-bike with a 48 volt 20 amp hour motor and this one is only a 350 watt with the 8 amp hour battery and it's 36 volts so it's quite a step down for me but if you've never ridden an e-bike you will love this bike i promise you if you have an affinity for bmx bikes if you like normal mountain bikes you might not like this bike downside is that you also don't get nearly as much lower body exercise with an e-bike but you do get a lot of upper body exercise um, I found that after like ripping through those trails three or four times like my upper body was like worked gripes wise I would say on the videos the other videos that I've seen their main gripe seems to be the key sticking out the bottom um, but when I got my bike the key like it was already on i never i've never even used the key so i don't have that gripe at all and my solution to that was going to be just put a carabiner on the key and clip it to that line there I mean, as and you can see i'm worry. not getting paid to make this video i'm just an actor uh, making a video because when i went to go buy this bike to make my decision about whether to get this or the eco trick um there weren't enough reviews really there was like one review about this bike on youtube and i was like that is just unacceptable i'm going to get this bike just to make a review so there is more than one so let me know if you have any questions about this bike i'll try to answer them um and go ahead and like my other videos um especially my acting reel because it, this business is all about who you know or who knows you thanks <laughs>